If you thought bees and wasps were the scariest bugs out there, think again. Today, superbugs are a far greater threat to human health. Superbugs are where bacteria in our environment or in our bodies become resistant to antibiotics. Unfortunately now, these superbugs are in our hospitals, in our environment, in our bodies, and they're making infectious disease a major challenge for humans. Globally, about 1.2 million people die per year from infections caused by antibiotic-resistant bacteria. But according to UniSA pharmaceutical science professor Clive Prestige, this could be just the tip of the iceberg. We've all lived in a world where we've had effective antibiotics, and most of us have relied on them. You may have had a cut in, in the garden, and you go to the doctor, it gets a bit inflamed, you take an antibiotic. Let's project forward a few years where those antibiotics are not working. That means that infection will get worse and worse and worse, and potentially, the worst thing can happen is it actually turns into a blood-based infection. Sepsis becomes even more difficult to actually address, and it can be life-threatening. By 2050, estimations are an additional 50 million people will die from superbugs or from antimicrobial resistance, which is actually much bigger than a ma major pandemics we've seen recently. Thankfully, there's at least one beacon of hope on the horizon. PhD candidate Mohammed Awad has developed a unique light therapy treatment that could turn the tide in the fight against superbugs. What we're actually doing is what we do in our households, what our mothers told us always, keep the house like uh, with sunlight and with good air, and this house will never get sick. The new treatment involves applying a special oil to a wound, then exposing it to laser light. This light generates highly reactive oxygen molecules that have been proven to eradicate harmful bacteria, including those elusive superbugs. We've tested this technology in animal trials and it has shown great success in reducing the bacterial burden in the wound. And it's also what was really exciting for us, it accelerated the wound healing. It's exciting, like it started as a crazy idea and ended up with some good results. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy, I'm looking forward to, have, to continue working on this. Our work and others' work on photodynamic antimicrobial therapy is extremely exciting. If we can develop technologies that can be used to kill bacteria without the use of conventional antibiotics, it'll be a game changer for human health.